This is a natural phenomenon not seen in any other natural habitat on the planet. Coral spawning, in essence, is actually the Great Barrier Reef breeding. The Great Barrier Reef stretches 2,600 kilometers from just south of Bundaberg right up to Papua New Guinea. This reef is incredibly huge and it breeds in the same two or three nights. Nothing like it on the planet. Corals, as a tiny little jellyfish style animal, actually reproduce in two ways. They reproduce for the majority of the year asexually, where they actually split and divide, uh, asexual reproduction. However, coral spawning is their sexual reproduction. They're pretty much corals are having babies. But the way they do it, because it's so large, they do what we call broadcast synchronized spawning. They throw bundles of sperm and egg into the water. To synchronize it, we as researchers have actually worked out a few of the main cues. The major environmental cues that we look for is the full moon around the November period, and then we go two to six nights after that. And what we're looking for in that period is the smallest tide range. We don't want a lot of current. The reason for that, all that genetic material can float up and have a chance to mingle and for the right individuals to find the right individual, so to speak. A few nights later, the tides and the winds start dispersing it across the whole reef. 